Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2014 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 18, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, on a small planet with a radius of only 24 kilometers, the gravitation is much lower than on Earth, and therefore one can build taller houses. One of the buildings is a tower that is 2 kilometers high. If somebody stands on the top of the tower, what is the distance to the furthest point on the surface of the planet that he or she can see? Alright, so here this circle is representing the small planet, and here this line, which is the radius, is 24 kilometers, which is already given in the question, and this extra line, which is going in the same direction, it represents the tower, which we know is 2 kilometers, but this is not in scale. Okay. So now what we want to know is what is the far furthest point that one can see standing on the top of the tower looking all the way down to a point on the surface. Alright, so now we will draw a tangent to the horizon. We will visualize that line and that point will be, let's say, here. And now we will draw a line which will, which is a tangent to the circle and also goes through the point through the top of the tower. Okay, so now we will connect a line from this point to the center of the circle. Okay, so now we have a triangle here, and now I will show you why this is a right angle. Okay, so now let's look at this diagram right here. So this here is a tangent to any circle, so this one right here, so this is just half of the circle, so this is a straight line. So now if we draw a straight line, which is going through the center of the circle, all the way to the edge, just like here, we know that this would be the line of symmetry, and therefore this angle would be the same as this angle. And since that is 180 degrees, you would divide by 2, so each angle would be 90 degrees, and therefore each one would be a right angle. So therefore we know that this must be a right angle. Okay. So now since we know that this is a right angle, we know that this is a right angle triangle, and therefore we know that we can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find out this side, which we will call X. And where this, of course, we know is the radius, which is 24 kilometers. All right. So we know that the equation for the Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared, which equals c squared, where c squared would be, well, c would be the longest side length, which would also be opposite to the right angle. So therefore, we would know that that would be this side, which we know is 24 plus 2 is 26. Okay, so now we know that this would be the b squared because... This, these are the two sides, so this would be A and this would be B. So therefore, we would have X squared plus 24 squared, which equals 26 squared. But now, to avoid dealing with such large numbers, we will scale this figure, and therefore, we will divide everything by 4. So we will have X over 2 in brackets squared. And we know that this is plus 24 divided by 2, which is 12, so plus 12 squared. And this equals 26 divided by 2, which is 13, so 13 squared. Okay. So now, since we only want x on one side, we will have x over 2 in brackets squared, 
which equals 13 squared minus 12 squared. Okay, so of course we could just find the square and this square and then do this minus that, but of course that would take a lot longer and there is a far more elegant way to solve this. Okay, so there is a binomial formula which says that a squared minus b squared is equal to, and in brackets, a minus b times, and in brackets, a plus b. Okay, so we would still have x over 2 in bracket squared. So here, since we have 13 squared minus 12 squared, a would be 13 and 12 would be b. So therefore, we would have a minus b, which is 13 minus 12. And that would be a times a plus b, which is 13 plus 12. Okay. So now we know that this is equal to 13 minus 12, which is 1, times 13 plus 12, which is 25. So 1 times 25 is 25. So we know that x over 2 in bracket squared is equal to 25. So now to just get x, we will find the square root of both sides. So of course on the left side, we will just have x over 2. And the square root of 25 is 5. So to just get x on this side, since we divide by 2 here, we will have to multiply by 2 on both sides. So 5 times 2 is 10, therefore we know x equals 10. Okay, so therefore we know that the furthest distance from the top of the tower, which you can see until the furthest point on the surface of the planet, must be 10 kilometers. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.